Welcome to this video on thermal analysis of induction motor using ANSYS Maxwell and Fluent. This video contains two parts. Part 1 will focus on loss calculation using ANSYS Maxwell. Part 2 will focus on temperature calculation using ANSYS Fluent. EM loss of this induction motor includes four parts. Core loss from the stator, copper winding loss from the stator, car loss from the rotor, and any current loss from the rotor bars. In this part 1 video, I'm going to show you how to calculate these losses accurately by using Maxwell. Instead of creating Maxwell model manually, we can take advantage of another tool, which is called RMExpert, to help us create Maxwell model automatically. We can drag and drop RMExpert model into Workbench easily. RMExpert is a template-based analytical tool which is designed specifically for electrical machines. Here we can enter the geometry dimensions, assign the materials from material libraries easily, output power voltage, radius speed, operating temperatures, and other settings that can be set up in the solution setup. Once analyzed, we can generate the efficiency speed curve. We can also review the losses including the core loss, winding loss from both rotor and stator. Now let's create Maxwell model. We can create either Maxwell 2D model or 3D model automatically. This Maxwell model is created completely automatically based on the first RM expert model, including the geometries, the materials, uh, the excitations, the motions, the solution setup, and even the post-processing. The loss of this induction machine comes from four parts, core loss from the stator, core loss from the rotor, winding loss from the stator and a winding loss from the rotor. Core loss calculation is based on the core loss model. For electrical machines, we usually define it as the electric steel. Core loss is calculated based on these loss coefficients and the field solutions. Core loss includes the hysteresis loss and eddy current loss. The loss coefficient can be extracted by Maxwell based on the loss curves and the lamination information, which can be usually provided by the vendor. We also need to activate core loss calculations here. Aluminum bars are connected together and excited by the end connections. Eddy current loss is calculated and the eddy current effect can be activated by selecting all the bars. The winding loss for all the copper coils is calculated based on the current and the winding resistance. Maxwell can't simulate the winding resistance for us due to the fact that this winding is stranded. We have to get this value either from the RM expert or hand calculation or from the test. The inductance here is the leakage inductance. Winding inductance itself can be calculated by Maxwell. Accurate loss calculation requires accurate field solutions. Accurate field solutions require fine mesh. Unlike the static servers, transit server does not have adaptive mesh. If we plot the mesh based on these default settings, 
we can see mesh around the rotor bars is coarse. What we can do is to create the mesh operation based on the lens. Similarly, we can add the mesh operations on stator, rotor, and coils. Here's the new mesh plot with the mesh operations. As you can see, uh, the mesh around the rotor bars is much finer. We recommend 100 times steps for each cycle in order to get the accurate loss. In order to save the simulation time, instead of using the uniform time steps, I use 20 time steps for the first six cycles and 100 time steps for the last four cycles. We also need to save field solutions in order to transfer the EM loss to fluent later. We don't have to save the field solutions for the entire simulation time, just the last cycle is good. Now let's generate the last plot. We can generate the last plot through here. We can get the uh, core loss, we can separate the core loss for the rotor and the stator. The solid loss here represents the loss for the rotor bars. Stranded loss R here represents the uh, winding loss for the stator. If we look at these parts, we can see that mechanical power is fairly close to the value that we assigned for the output power in first uh, um, expert model. The summation of the mechanical power and all the losses is fairly close to the electric power. The difference between these two is within 0.7%. So we can say that the loss calculation is pretty accurate. We can also plot uh, the loss for the entire model. Here we can choose at which time step we want to plot the loss. Here we can see the loss distribution for the whole model. In order to transfer the loss calculated by Maxwell to the fluent, we just need to drag the solution from the Maxwell to the setup in the fluent. The core loss for the rotor and the stator, uh, the eddy country loss for the rotor bars will be automatically mapped to the fluent. Um, the winding loss uh, can be assigned in the fluent manually. This setup is a one-way thermal analysis. If we want to implement the two-way simulation, then we need to um, modify the material properties. We need to add the thermal modifier here. Instead of the noun, we need to um, add the thermal modifier for the uh, material properties. Here, uh, it is the conductivity. Once this has been set up, we need to come here, set the object's temperature, uh, include the temperature dependence, and then set up the uh, initial temperature here. Enable feedback means the temperature, uh, which is simulated by the uh, fluent, will be able to read by the uh, Maxwell. And the material properties uh, will be adjusted based uh, on this new temperature. This way, the simulation will be the uh, two-way thermal analysis. We can also use the uh, MaxBird to create the 3D model for us. This 3D uh, geometry can be used for the thermal analysis in Florent later.